Hi guys, it's Giselle. Welcome back to my channel. So seeing as it is almost Halloween, I figured I would change things up a bit and give you a new backdrop. Have my little Halloween tree in the background and some little hairy spiders next to me. So today's video is another Universal Yums unboxing of the Yum Yum box. You know the drill. The Yum Yum box is $25 a month free shipping anywhere in the US. So let's dive right in. So right outside the box here is a little sticker that says a place where the hills are alive. I don't know, I think that's the Sound of Music reference. So let's see which country we have. This month's Yum Yum box comes all the way from Austria. I can honestly say I don't think I've ever tried anything from Austria. Um, if I have, I don't recall. We have a little booklet here. As you know, it tells you all the details uh, on each snack. So let's get to it. First up, we have some potato chips. So Kelly's paprika chips. Hmm, interesting. That's what it looks like. It doesn't have a strong smell. It just smells like chips. Mmm. This is different. It's very crispy, very fresh, and it's kind of a weird flavor. Um, you know, paprika is kind of one of those flavors that, I don't know, I just wouldn't picture it on a potato chip, but um, that's exactly what it tastes like, paprika on a potato chip, but it has good flavor. Um, this is a good one. Next up we have another snack from Kelly's. Kelly's must be popular in Austria. Mini Fritz Creamy Onion. Mini Fritz Creamy creamy onion. Apparently Austrians are really big on breakfast. The farmers came up with two ideas to eat a second breakfast at 10 a.m. called Jaws, Jaws, and to use their freshly harvested potatoes in a new dish for the occasion. All right, the Austrians like to eat two breakfasts a day. I'm liking the Austrians. Again, doesn't really have much of a smell. Like little potato sticks. Mmm, with a lot of flavor. Mm-hmm. I really like these. Mm-hmm. These are really good. They taste like, um, sour cream and onion, but a little more oniony and a little sweeter. These are good. Thumbs up for these. Next up, we have another Kelly's items. Kelly's Snips. Kelly's Snips. Nussprig Luftig Zert. These look like, have something to do with peanuts. Snips are one of the country's top three snacks. Okay. Oh, they definitely smell like peanuts. This is a weird one. This is weird. These actually have the same texture as a cheese puff. But picture a cheese puff that tastes like it was smothered in peanut butter. There's no cheese flavor, it's just a peanut butter flavor. And because, <laughs> I think because I'm so used to puffs being cheesy, it takes me a few seconds to get used to this peanut butter flavor in the form of a cheese puff. Um. It's got decent flavor. 
but it's a little bland. I don't know, maybe it's because my heart wants the cheese and this is peanut butter, but either way, this is a good one. Um, if you can get past not having cheese on your cheese puff. <laughs> so just like last month's box, it looks like they only sent three salty snacks, which kind of disappoints me because I love the salty snacks over the sweet snacks any day of the week. But let's see what they sent us for sweet snacks. First up, we've got these Man Mandel Ekin wafer cake with almond cream filling in a whole milk chocolate. Mm. These look yummy. I love wafers. I love almond cream. And I like chocolate. These are kind of giant. So looks like I'm going to eat the whole thing. That's what they look like. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my gosh. This is so good, guys. This. This is calling me. This right here, it's calling my name. It knows me. It knows me on a personal level. Guys, I don't know why I didn't think it was going to taste like this, but it has this like really strong amaretto flavor, which I know amaretto is almond, but I was just expecting little pieces of almond in here, not this great, amazing amaretto flavor. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. This is so good. I don't know how they're gonna top that one. I don't know, just saying. Next up, I don't know about this one. I don't know about the name. I don't know about the flavor. <laughs> Next we have the big banana. The big banana. Strange name. Um, I am not a big banana fan. It's just one of those flavors doesn't really speak to me but for the sake of this video I'm going to try it apparently Austrians are totally bananas for bananas oh it's soft is this like an actual banana just covered in chocolate oh really strong banana smell This is really strong banana. This tastes like someone sliced a banana in half and dipped it in chocolate and put it in here. Um, like I was expecting more of like a banana flavored candy, not actual like banana. This is, this is like an actual banana. Let's see, dark chocolate coated banana mousse. I don't know if that's banana mousse in there. It actually has the texture of a real banana. If you got this box and you try this, let me know in the comment section if you think that this tasted just like the texture of a real banana covered in chocolate. But I'm guessing they wouldn't do that because obviously bananas would spoil, but I don't know. All right. These are Kastner, Kastner Milch. Wafflets. So it looks like some kind of strawberry waffle cookie, wafer, strawberry wafer. Ananas. In Austria, ananas is the word for a particular fruit. Can you guess which one? 
Nope, it's not bananas. Of course it's not bananas. Ananas, of course it wouldn't be bananas. Ananas actually refers to pineapple and strawberry. So that's really funny because in the Portuguese language, ananage is actually the word for pineapple and it looks like it's kind of spelled the same. Hmm, interesting. Let's see what we have here. So you have a little wafer cookie. One side with chocolate, one side without. So. That is some good strawberry wafer cookie. It tastes a little bit different than the strawberry wafers we have here in the US. This kind of gives me more of a strawberry milkshake vibe, maybe because of the milk chocolate, but it definitely has some kind of a milkshake vibe I'm getting from this. Good flavor. We have another bar called Bobby. Bobby Caramel. Interesting. Milk chocolate bar with caramel nougat and crispy wheat rice. That's what it looks like. Got little crispy rice, wheat rice. Mmm. This is really good. Caramelly, nougaty bar with Rice Krispies. This is good. Thumbs up for this one. Next up. Hmm. Glazed, glazed gingerbread with nuts. This looks like maybe a cookie of sorts. Soft gingerbread with hazelnuts, almonds, candied orange, and sugar glaze. You lost me at the candied orange. That's what it looks like. That's one side of it. Okay. Mm. Very soft. I was expecting something crispy <laughs> because of this. This side looks crispy. Quite honestly, I think I would have liked this better if there was no orange flavor at all. The orange flavor kind of overpowers the entire sweet. So I don't even taste, I'm not even getting a gingerbread flavor from this, but this might be your thing. It's just not my thing. We've got Kastner's. So I'm sensing a theme here where lots of these snacks come from one or two main manufacturers. So Kastner, I've seen that before here. This is Nut Joe, Nut Joe ha Hazelnuss, Hazelnuss Waffle. So I'm assuming Nut Joe is a little hazelnut wafer. Let's see. It looks like it tastes like your typical wafer with hazelnut. Um, it's not my favorite hazelnut wafer. I've had I've had some that are really great. This one's just kind of okay but still good flavor. All right, guys, we're down to the last three. Shoko Erdbeerine. Shoko Erdbeerine. This looks like a chocolate strawberry filled sweet. Dark chocolate coated strawberry mousse. All right, so they actually come in little cute Strawberry shapes. All right. Mm. 
I'm not a big fan of fruit flavored or flutes. Fruit. <laughs> fruit. Not flute. Fruit. I am a fan of the flute. I'm not a big fan of fruit fillings. They're just not my thing. This is very mushy inside. I wouldn't say it has the consistency of mousse. If you like strawberry flavored sweets, this, you'll probably like this. It's just, the textures just throw me off. Cleansing the palette for the next one, which by the way, do you guys like my wig? I threw this hat on it because, well, I was lazy and I didn't want to put a wig cap on, so you can see all of my little black hairs trying to stick out of the wig. So I figured I would just throw this, throw this bad boy right on it and cover that up. Oh, and I wanted to show you my shirt. For Halloween. Guys, is that not so cute? I thought that was cute. Super cute. Okay. Anyways. Down to the last two. Next up is a box that does not get me very excited. We have these cool mint lemons, peppermint patties, those little peppermint patties we have here in the US. I like those peppermint patties, but I'm not a big lemon fan. So I don't know how lemon and mint are gonna go together, but we're gonna see. Comes in cute little packaging. It looks just like a peppermint patty. Guys, I don't think I can finish this. I can't finish this. <laughs> I cannot finish this. I'm not being disrespectful to Austria or the people that make these candies. But my honest opinion of this is that it tastes like someone took a peppermint patty and soaked it in Mr. Clean. That's what it tastes like. I, I can't even, I can't finish it. I'm just gonna feed it too. Little Spidey here. You wanna eat that? Wanna eat that? Hmm? Yeah. Last snack up looks like, it looks like a chocolate bar. Another chocolate bar. The Austrians really love their chocolate. Valmilch Chocolade. Chocolade. Valmilch Chocolade. It's a milk chocolate bar. Eat it fast before someone takes it for themselves. Oh, it's that good, is it? Let's see. Okay. What it looks like it's a pretty long skinny bar it looks like those little skinny lint uh lindor or lint lint chocolates we have here this has really good flavor i think it tastes milkier than our milk chocolate this tastes more of like a milkier creamy chocolate but it's good. Oh my God. There was no yum yum bag. Guys, there was no yum bag in this yum yum box. Well, that's disappointing. I always look forward to those little yum treats. Those little crazy flavored treats. They don't, nope, they didn't. They didn't give us yum yums. Maybe those bags don't come in every box. This is my third box. So, I don't know. If you are a regular Universal Yums subscriber and you've gotten several boxes, can you let me know in the comment section below if it's typical for them to include a little yum bag in each box or if that is just a random thing. I've gotten it the last two times, so I was kind of looking forward to that in this box. Recap of the Austrian box. 
favorite sweet snack are these Mandel Ekins, which are the almond amaretto wafer uh, crispy chocolate thingy majiggies. These were amazing. I don't want to share these with anybody. Just saying. Uh, this this Bobby Caramel bar was actually really, really good. I would say that would be my second favorite sweet snack that came in the box. And as far as favorite salty snacks, I would say it's a toss up between, um, actually I would say it is these paprika chips. I actually do really like these. Um, I like these as well, but I feel like you can get them in the US. So um, this flavor is different. So I'm gonna go with these paprika chips, really tasty. Craziest flavor or least favorite, honestly, is the big banana which to me was a big fail, not because of anything they did, just because I don't like banana flavor. And also these Cool Mint uh, patties here um, that just have this really strange flavor. Is it just me? If you liked these, let me know in the comment section below. Um, or if you didn't, let me know too, so that I know that I'm not alone, and that I'm not a weirdo. Okay, I am a weirdo, but... Anyways, thank you so much for watching this month's Yum Yum unboxing. I hope you enjoyed it. Here is the clue to next month's box. Can you guess which country they're coming from? Hope you enjoyed the Halloween backdrop. And uh, if you want to see more, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the little notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. And also, guys, if you liked the video, leave a like. Let me know in the comments section below which of these items you'd want to try. Also, if you received this box, let me know what your favorite item was and what your least favorite item was. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. See you soon. Bye!